Okay, to give you an idea of how many hammers that I have, this is just a pile of them. And of course, you can see you can match some of the sizes together. And uh, what I'm going to do, I've got this hit this oak dowel and try to match up the drill bit. It'll be just a little bit smaller, just barely smaller than that. We're going to drill right into the end of this as straight as possible and uh, try to make us a stick, sticks of various sizes. So let's dive into this pile and see what we can do. First thing I did with this large pile of, of piano hammers is match two hammers that are similar in size. It looks like I have one, but you'll notice I have two. They're basically the same size felt because in an assortment like this you might have different sizes. So anyway, we'll work on these as our first project and see how it goes. Let's see, the first thing I'll do is take a little coping saw. And I will try to saw this off. You can just, you could cut it off with, uh, uh, with a knife or something like that. Yeah, about need me a bench to do this, don't I? Okay, see that breaks right off. Uh, I'm going to take a pocket knife, sort of shave that off a little bit, and it might have some super glue where they put it together initially in the piano, but anyway, just shave it off as level as you can so the sticks will be as balanced as you can make them, and it might take a little while to do that, I'm just doing this in a hurry. So, there we have one to work with. Next, we'll drill a hole in the end, try to insert the dowel in it. Okay. Get that ready. And then uh, we've got a drill bit that's just about the size of this oak dowel. So we're ready to go. Okay, the next thing is, without drilling a hole in your hand, try to hold this as straight as possible. See, I'm getting the hole started. It's just a little off center. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Now, I've done that hole about, eh, about a quarter inch deep. We're going to do the same with this other hammer. It's sort of hard getting it started. You might have to get your little pilot hole going with a smaller bit, but you hold it as straight as possible. Wouldn't recommend doing it with your bare hands, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so that's a quarter inch deep. Now we'll insert the dowel in it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is test fit a quarter inch oak dowel into what we've done with this. You can see it fits in pretty straight. It might have just a little adjusting, but if you cut the hole just a little big so you can adjust it one way or another to where it's as center as you can think. What I'm doing is using an existing stick. If you play hammer dulcimer with a certain stick, I call them sticks. That's my percussion background stuff. But if you play with a, uh, a certain size hammer, you want to lay, after you insert the dowel, you want to lay the hammer on top of the stick that you're accustomed to playing with and just put a mark back here at the back so you know where to cut it off. Now you can insert you a, hand, a handle on here so the stick doesn't twist on you. But I'm just, uh, just going to do just a regular just a regular shaft and uh, it might not be as balanced as a regular stick because of the handle but like I said you can cut the dial shorter put a little handle here out of a piece of wood where it'll fit in your finger so let's go ahead and cut this off and maybe try to play with it okay so after cutting that uh, hammer off to where it's the same length as what you're used to playing with like I said you can add a handle on this end if you like 
uh, but I've not glued this yet. So what I'm going to do, I've got uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel. It's the 10 second dry type and uh, it's impact tough. <laughs> of course, playing with a hammer dulcimer, you might want a glue that'll hold it really tough. So I'll put a few drops of this in the hole. And then if you want to, either your sawed end, which is a little rougher, you could put in there, or you could sand it off with sandpaper. So anyway, you just twist that in there. And voila. And if you want to put just a little bit of gel on the outside, that's good too. So there you go. Let's do another hammer and maybe play us out a song with it. See how it does without the handle. And like I say, a handle's pretty easy to add. Uh, just put your little piece of wood on the other end and, and do the reverse. And you can put your a little handle where you can hold it in your thumb and play it. So let's try the other, other hammer and get to playing a song. Okay, so after making your first hammer, just uh, lay that hammer on the other one to make sure you get them the same length. And then uh, just mark your wood. And then cut it off. And of course, when you glue this, you can straighten it out just before the glue dries to make sure it's straight both ways. Okay, okay so to give these sticks some balance, uh, just like on these handles, I decided I played a little bit with these. And of course, you know, they're sort of front heavy so I'm going to put me a little handle in the back just a little cheap handle to give the sticks or the hammer some balance so let's give it a whirl just an old piece of pine board try to run through it a few times get us some thin pieces <laughs> that off. <laughs> Try to run them little pieces of pine down before we can run our dowels in. Maybe give some balance and sort of put a little curve to this. Just some cheap way to make some sticks. Uh, let's grind them down, get ready to drill some holes and see what it looks like. So here we have our sticks, they're the same size felt. Uh, we've got the length of the sticks basically the same and I've uh, cut some pine blocks to go in here and I'm going to shape these where they'll sit in my fingers well. You could play it like this and they're sort of balanced. They're a little heavy, but uh, the objective is cheap sticks, soft felt for softer played songs. And uh, anyway, this might not be your fancy. It's nothing like uh, the nice handcrafted hammers that you can buy but it is a good way to make a lot of soft sticks and uh, you could put just a little bit of oil on here not much and it actually keep your uh, strings oiled down just a little bit while you play now don't put a lot because it'll, it'll come out all over your dulcimer so anyway let's try to spin out a song on these and see how it sounds <laughs>
are just refurbished piano hammers out of an old salvage piano. Uh, just uh, drilled the ends with a quarter inch bit, put a quarter inch oak dowel in it, and uh, just old cheap pine piece of wood. I put a handle in for balance. I guess you can call them my ugly sticks, uh, but I just wanted to see if they would play an otherwise loud song a little softer. So uh, did the trick. So sort of do it yourself. You can buy buy these or get an old junk piano, break them off, and uh, uh, they're good just to mess around with. They ain't nothing beautiful to look at. And also you can get something, uh, uh, the hammers can be thicker or smaller. So you can choose how much softness that you want when you're playing. So anyway, it worked for me. I hope it's a, a help to you.